What up my dogs? Today we're going to be playing the E-Barbs Rush Challenge with 2.6 Hogs. So this is going to be really fun. Today I wanted to talk about the time I pretty much got into a fight at school. Well, it wasn't really at school. We went on a trip down south or north or something. I don't even know where it was. And basically what happened is I was hanging out with my friends. We all stayed in different dorms on this trip. It was like a school excursion. This was when I, I was actually pretty young at this point. So... I was staying in, a, in my own dorm, and I would visit this other dorm where my friends were in. And then I went into that dorm one time, and me and my friend were... or well, me and my friends were joking about something. I don't know what happened, really. And then... One of the kids in the dorm must have not been too happy with what, what, what was me being in the dorm or whatever. And he, he might have asked me to leave. I actually don't remember. Or he might have, like, shouted at me or something. I don't know. And he was a small little runt, so... Obviously... I wouldn't have listened to him being a six foot seven giga chad. And so what ended up happening was he just slapped me from what I remember. Like he full on just punched me and I just did not expect it. But I remember I was angry at the time. I remember I was pissed. Okay, Royal Recruits are slightly infuriating. So um, I did not bring that into my calculations. Luckily 2.6 can counter literally everything in the entire game. As long as my musketeer doesn't die to the firecracker, which is also slightly infuriating. No, my musketeer's gonna die. And so what happened was I was pissed. This guy just punched me in front of everyone in this dorm or yeah, he slapped me up. I don't even know. I can't remember what it was. I was fucking pissed. So what happened was instead of retaliating back, I remembered what my mummy and daddy taught me when someone punches you or, you know, don't, don't swing back. Jesus loves us all, okay? Don't love thy neighbor and love thy enemy. So, you know, as I do, I leave the dorm loving the enemy. And I'm really mad at this point. But, you know, I resist because I'm not going to get into a fight in front of everyone. Also, this kid is a little fuckwit, so I'm a lot bigger than him. It would just be, it wouldn't really be much of a fight. It would be much more of a, I slam him to the floor and kill him. And so what happened was I went back to my dorm just by myself. No one else was in the dorm. And I was just sitting there like, what the fuck just happened? But I was like fucking angry. I was like infuriated. And then his friend, who was also another little runt, and I didn't like him either. He came to the dorm. He came to my dorm after this happened. And I was fucking angry. I don't remember why he came to my dorm, honestly. But I presumed it was for some toxic reason because he's the other guy's friend. And... I didn't like him. He's a little fuckwit. And so what happened was he came to my dorm and he came up to me and he was going to, I don't know what he was going to do. And so I fucking, <laughs> I grabbed him. I, I grabbed him by like his, like this area or his neck or his throat. And I just like pinned him up against the wall. I was so mad. I was like, he had followed me back to my dorm. I was like, why? Also, also what is going on right now? How many fucking troops are on the board? Should I be... Oh, that firecracker. I mean, that flying machine just got annihilated. Yeah, so I pinned him up against the, the wall. And because I, I didn't want to take any more shit. He'd followed me back to the dorm. And then he just, I think he just like started crying or whatever and just ran away. And that was pretty much the end of that. And so that was kind of drama on the trip. And I remember it was a whole ordeal with parents and stuff after that, dealing with the aftermath of that. And then after the trip... Basically, I had to, because I didn't punch back initially, I had to spend like a few days in like essentially the principal's office. Um, and this was like the fun time of class. This was like the end of the year when everyone's just watching movies. No one's doing any work. Everyone's just fucking dicking around. And basically what happened is everyone was watching movies and I had to go to the principal's office every day pretty much to repent for my sins. And I... I was spending a lot of time with this guy and then apparently the other kid had to spend like a month in the office, which was much to my, my, my delight. I mean, he punched me and it turns out that this teacher who I spent all this time with, well, first of all, he was definitely gay. I'll tell you that much, but he was also a pedophile. I'll tell you how I know because wait, I think we just win here. There's no way he defends, right? This guy has put up actually quite a fight, but that is the end of the battle. So anyway, like I was saying, I was spending a lot of time with this teacher, right? He was basically the principal. He's like the principal of the middle school. And a couple months later, after I spent all this time in his office, it comes out that not only is he gay, but he's 
but he's a pedophile. <laughs> he was on at some family event, some family get together, and he was like, hell, he'd like agreed to like meet up or hook up with a guy who was like my age or like 17 at the time to like make out with him. And keep in mind, this guy's like 50 and this was a family meetup or something. And yeah, he apparently planned to hook up with this kid and the, the other kid was totally on board. And <laughs> so first of all, I was spending a lot of time with this teacher who was a pedophile for guys my age. So that was unsettling. But also he was found on Grinder, like by the, so people in obviously in the school started doing some research when we found out that, you know, our principal is a gay pedophile. <laughs> so what happened was he was found on Grinder, and he had like, he had a very strange profile. Oh no, why did I log that? Wait, I'm gonna have to fireball, hang on. I'm gonna have to hit this. Perfect. And yeah, so he got obviously banned from the school and that was the end of him. And I, there were always signs that he was, first of all, that he was gay. I, I always knew he was gay. He never admitted it, but this was probably a time when, I don't know, being gay wasn't as acceptable. I mean, a few good, a good, like at least a decade ago. I don't know if that, wait, if I log this over to my Canon, perfect. And then I do this and then this. Yeah, and so he would do these things at the assemblies. We'd always have these like meetings where the whole school would like, have to listen to the boring teachers do these talks in front of the whole school and the try-hard students who applied for the teacher's pet roles. And then essentially, I'm saying essentially a lot, he would always do this thing where it's like, can we all give everyone a rapturous round of applause? And I always thought that was a little sus. And then he would actually do this like movement with his hand where he, hang on, there's like a hundred things I have to defend at the same time. He would always do this. This rapturous round of applause. And that's how he would say it. And it was this really tall guy. He was just a little sus to me. Okay, I think I might be dead here. Hang on. Wait. I gotta focus up. Shit. No. No, the Sparky! Look, I just want to say, I know in yesterday's video I said that I missed the structure of school and I'm a bit lost with everything. I did not mean yesterday's video to be a sub story, by the way. I was just trying to see if anyone could relate to me because that's kind of how I feel like the days are just aimlessly going past. But if I'm going to be completely honest, like I actually really like not being in school, even though I've just told this story about pedophiles and stuff. It sounds like a lot of fun, but I actually don't enjoy. I hated school. I only like, you know, hanging out with my friends and stuff like most people. I mean, it makes sense, but I actually really don't like school. And so, yeah, I just wanted to. I didn't like how I, yesterday's video was perceived. That should go to the canon, yep. F for example, I think I got a comment that was just like, you know, I don't know. I, I people, people took it as if I was complaining and I really didn't mean it that way. I was honestly just trying to share what every day kind of feels like. And we, I did get a lot of people who were relating to what I was saying, which was cool. But yeah, I'm actually really happy to be out of school. I don't miss school at all. Everyone says, oh, you're going to miss, you're going to miss school once you're out of it. And that's just not true. I have never felt that way. Daddy has been happy, probably because I'm doing what I like. That's the thing. Ah, yesterday, I feel like I kind of said the opposite, but I do like what I'm doing. It's just, I feel like I haven't progressed in it that much. You know what I mean? That's kind of the point I was making yesterday. It is a lot of fun. And I can't really complain. And so I do feel pretty guilty. So guys, please don't kill me in the comments. Oh my God. This guy has absolutely no chill. All right, we can't lose again. First loss on the Ken channel is unacceptable. And we've already d lost in this video. So this game, we're going to clutch up and win. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go hog this lane. Bang, kite this over to the Musketeer. Maximum value. Take the fireball value. Ebob's going to take out the Zappies. And just like that. Okay. Okay, we've got to save this musketeer real quick. But yeah, what type of videos do you guys want to see? I'm actually curious because I um, I really enjoy making these videos. I'm not sure if I can do them daily because I don't always have something I want to talk about and I'll probably end up making them when I want to talk about something. But what do you guys like to hear? I'm thinking of maybe getting into like playing Hog Cycle, like 2.6 Hog, because I know it's a very popular deck and I also like playing it a lot. I just don't know if it's as good as, good as it once was because of cards like Monk. They reflect the cannon and the musketeer. So I'm not sure if I'll have much success with it. But even in these challenges, another thing is I I wonder, 
Do you guys think I should title the videos on this channel based on the challenge I'm doing? Like, for example, if I was doing the whatever challenge this is, Rush Ebobs challenge, should I title it Best Deck or playing 2.6 in the Rush Ebobs challenge? Because I, I usually have a topic of conversation of what I want to talk about, but I am also playing these challenges and you guys probably enjoy some of the gameplay in some of these challenges, especially if, you know, it's a hard challenge. Unlike this one. I mean, I did lose, so maybe it is. But I am playing 2.6 Hogs. So, yeah, just let me know. Daddy doesn't really know at the moment what he's doing with his channel, but it's quite fun. Ooh, Hog got another hit there. But yeah, this is actually chaos. Like, with... Oh, God. Okay, Daddy needs to focus up. Hang on. Um... Okay. Let's go with this. Let's go with this. I missed the log completely. But we survive. Okay, just need to play another Musketeer because our one is going to die. This challenge is actually more fun and hectic than I thought it would be. Oh god. So I play this, pull the thing over. Don't let it die! I need it. Okay, good freeze. And then I go with this. And okay, Skeleton should be able to take care of that. Okay, I will win this game for the guys, for, for the fans, okay? All I have to do is go for a cannon. Now I go for a hog. Pull the e-bobs and then keep them there with the skellies. Come on, hog, get one hit. Bing, bong, bang. Just like that. How much does Fireball do? 204, is it? 207. Damn it. He doesn't know. Wait. If I do this, he might give up. Just need one more log. Please. And that is going to be GG, my slime. So, yeah, let me know. And I know you guys wanted me to um, give you the... See you later, my choppers. So there it is for the people that wanted it.